Thank you. Now it's time for Look East Unplanned. All this week, Mike Liggins is starting his day at one of our local radio stations and getting the listeners to suggest where he should go. <laughs> That's an idea in itself, isn't it? Now, it's all spur of the moment and completely unplanned. Today, he started in Cambridgeshire on The Breakfast Show in Peterborough. All the production team out there, d how old is this shirt, eh? How BBC how Radio Cambridgeshire's days? Paul Stainton, Stainton anyway, in a clean shirt, just for the telly. But well, anyway, you washed it and you're right, you are it, clearly. But so thank you. you I'm, know, from of, I'm, I'm from Yorkshire, mate. My wife did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. Not politically correct, yeah. but very funny. Uh, you can, thank you. You Mark can. calls from yeah, Chatteris, yeah. mentioning the boxing legend Dave Boy Green. I quite like the idea of finding Dave Boy Green. Yeah, the Fen Tiger. The Where Fen is he? Where is he? What? So, Chatteris, it is. <laughs> Mike Liggins! Mike Liggins on the show this morning! Hey, Do you think we'll find Dave Boy Green? Do you think we'll find Dave Boy Green? Uh, no. <laughs> Boxer Dave Boy Green had two world title fights and became a legend in the fence. But where is he now? We set off to find him. We're trying to find Dave Boy Green. You are, are you? If you go down Eastwood, yeah. he's got a lovely house, and yeah. on the front gate, he's got two big boxing gloves. Really? Yeah. Wow. Everyone in Chatteris knows Dave Boy Green, and most seem to know where he lives. But when I ring the bell at his house, there's no response. Disappointment. His next-door neighbour points us in the direction of his work, though, and happily, we find his car, his number plate, and the man himself. Mike Liggins from the BBC. Yeah, how are you doing, all right? I'm all right. You're Dave Boy Green. That's correct, yeah. yeah. Dave is now 56. He's a successful businessman and loves to reminisce about the old days when he fought Carlos Palomino and the great Sugar Ray Leonard for the world title. How long did it last? Not long. Four rounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be honest with you... They pull you out of it, I think. If I'd have trained for 25 years, I'd never... That man, no, he knocked me out. Hell of a punch. Really? He read in his book, he thinks he's the best punch he ever threw of all the fights he's had. Did it's you see it coming? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I couldn't resist a little shadow boxing with the old Fen <laughs> Tiger. Frankly, I could have given him a good hiding. But what, what a nice man. <laughs> Thanks to our unplanned adventure, we now know yeah, Dave Boy Green is alive and well yeah, cheers, and living in Chatteris. Yeah. Well, I certainly think Mike, it, Mike enjoyed <laughs> Mike himself, enjoyed it, didn't yes, he? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and Mike will be in Essex tomorrow for Look East Unplanned. He'll be on BBC Essex's breakfast show at 8 o'clock. You can also follow him on Twitter and suggest stories that way by typing his name in the search box. He's not a bad boxer by the look of it, either, is he? <laughs> I mean, Dave Boy Green. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was talking yes, about Mike. Yeah, <laughs> <that's right. laughs> well, you can see from the satellite sequence why some of us have enjoyed more sunshine than others. This area of cloud has been pretty slow to clear the east and southeast, and it did produce an odd spot or two of drizzle. But for most of us, even if you haven't seen much in the way of sunshine this afternoon, well, you've probably enjoyed a dry day. And, uh, as I speak, that cloud is still tending to pull away to the southeast, and once it's gone, we're in for a dry start to the evening and largely clear, and that uh, continues right the way through the night. We may just get a little bit of patchy mist in the extreme west, but for most of us, a pretty clear and pretty quiet night, and a pretty cool one too. Temperatures perhaps as low as 8 degrees Celsius in many spots. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see an odd 7 in the extreme west of the region. And the winds, well, are mainly light north to northeasterly. So tomorrow, high, high pressure in charge, if I can put my teeth in, but it will have a fair bit of cloud caught up in its circulation. That'll be about feeding in off the North Sea. So we start off dry and largely sunny across much of the region, but then we will see that cloud spreading in. But it should break at times to allow some further spells or intervals of sunshine, and it is looking a dry day with temperatures of around 19 or 20 degrees Celsius for many of us. Uh, 20 is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the winds are light to moderate northeasterly. 
So that's Thursday. Friday, another dry day with some spells of sunshine. And in fact, I think the dry weather will continue through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. But Saturday, Sunday and Monday, the further east you are, the more likely you are to stay beneath a good covering of cloud. And the further west you are in our region, the more likely you are to see perhaps a little bit of brightness and sunshine coming through. But those three days are generally looking much cloudier. Uh, we hold on.